Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Kit Streif, Sports Information here, Director here at Montana State University Billings, talking with Coach Rob Bishop about the upcoming baseball road trips to Chico State as well as the College of Idaho. Coach, great start to the season this year, Thanks, five good. and three. Um, talk a little bit about you know the, the first two trips. Uh, did a great job at Pueblo and then uh, got a big series win at uh, Regis last weekend. Yeah, you know we're excited about uh, getting everything off to a good start. And you know, this time of year, we're just so happy to be out of the gym and, and get a chance to get outside and just play a little baseball. So, yeah, and it gives us more focus when we do come back for practice. So, you know, I'm a, I'm not satisfied with five and three, but I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with the way that we're playing and the way that we're, we're competing. And um, the guys have really bought into the way that we're going to do things. So, uh, in looking at the stats, you guys have uh, offensive run production has not been a problem. Uh, so far this season with uh, 21 games and 21 runs in a game against Pueblo and then follow that up with uh, 18 against in a game against Regis. So uh, talk about the offensive production this season. Well, you know, we really uh, we really tried to place an emphasis on on-base percentage and um, guys have done it. We've done a great job of uh, taking walks and hit by pitches and, and basically just working to an advantage count, you know, trying to trying to hit 2-0-3-1 more often and be in positions where we can drive the ball. So we've uh, it's been an unusual start in that you know we haven't had a lot of one-run innings. We've we've just had a lot of big blow-up innings where the guys have done a good job when we've had opportunities to get a big hit, to get one or two or even three in a row, and and you know put up a five or six or seven spot in one inning. So you know I like I like our team for that, and we're we're continually working on uh, you know trying to manufacture runs too because as as you face great pitching, obviously you're not gonna you're not gonna put five or six together in a, in an inning. So. Um, I'm really happy with where we're at, though, and uh, you know we've we've already kind of reached some milestones. You and I have talked about for, for early in the season. It's great. Talk about the play of uh, newcomer Col Colby Robeson um, and what he's done. He's had an outstanding start to the season. Named GNAC Player of the Week last week. Um, talk about his play. Well, you know Colby Colby's an interesting kid. He's a great athlete, um, really raw. Had a terrific fall for us. Um, you know we were. I, Getting hired in late August, I basically was only able to bring in four or five guys, and then we had a, uh, we had a few more guys at semester, and uh, him and those other guys have just made an immediate contribution. And Colby's a, he's a leader, and he's a, a great defender at shortstop, and just a guy that uh, he can do a lot of good things with the bat too. And um, he's also a player that's exciting because he runs really well. So you know those kind of guys don't usually go into extended slumps because they they can create things with their speed too. Definitely. So. So I, I really like uh, really like him in the middle of that order somewhere, and uh, you know it, we've had different guys. Uh, Sam Kinsler's had a couple of really hot games, and um, Austin Ruse had a couple of hot games, and Jordan Kessler. It's, it's kind of been guys from all over the place. So, and Colby's been our one guy that's been so far has been pretty consistent. Talk about the pitching. It seems that uh, that the pitching has been has been pretty good this so far this season. I, I would say um, for for for. Coming in late, not having a lot of time to, to recruit some pitchers. Sure, the, yeah, the you know, guys have really stepped up. Yeah, we really, uh, they really have, and they were, the guys have really worked hard. And of course, Coach Martin, um, you know, has given those guys uh, just good direction and focus. I think in practice, and kind of our goal there is, you know, when we're when we're competing against a team, we want them to have to beat us. And so we've done a good job not walking people. Good job throwing strikes, getting strike one, just really being aggressive in the zone, trusting our defense. Um, and that was something that, you know, just looking at the numbers from last year, I, I really saw was uh, a problem that we just walked too many guys and, you know, I mean, walks turn into runs. So, uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll continue with that brand. I know uh, we can, we can uh, pitch more effectively than we, than we have so far, but we've, uh, we've pitched well enough to win a lot of games. And the games that we didn't win, you know, probably the, the game two at Regis was about the only game of the three that, that we didn't have a great chance at winning. We had, we had good opportunities late in all those games to win. Looking to this week, uh, competition gets a little st stiffer with uh, number twenty-one Chico State, mm -hmm. good club, NCAA tournament team from last year, went thirty-five and twenty. Um, talk about Chico, talk about going down there, and um, you know what, what? What are you looking for from that series? Well, I think you know, uh, first and foremost, I, I just want to see how our guys react when we're when we're playing a team that you know can stand toe to toe with anybody in the country. They're a great squad, and Coach Taylor does a good job with them. Um, they have a great reputation. They've, they've, you know, been in College World Series and won College World Series before. So, uh, that's the kind of program that we want to compare ourselves to. So, I'm, I'm really just excited about it, and I know our guys are too to, to get a chance to, 
to just kind of see where we're at just as a, as a measuring stick. And then, you know, on the way back, we catch College of Idaho, and they're a very good program too. So uh, the next five games will really test us. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll definitely get a chance to, to see what our strengths are and what our weaknesses are against great teams. And then, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're shooting for. We want to be the team that, that you know, we can compare favorably to those great teams that make regionals. What's it like to start a season, and it's happened in the time that I've been here, with 20 plus games to start the season on the road? Well, I really like to go on the road and play. I, I don't like traveling that many weeks in a row just from a personal standpoint because it beats you up a little bit. But And, you know, it's tough for the kids to stay on top of school and all that. But um, the, the advantage of playing all those games on the road is you really find out what your team is like. You know, you find out what your chemistry is like right away. You find out, um, you know, which guys when they're not comfortable or things aren't going well can really handle the adversity and I think it, it builds a strong team to start off on the road and if you know if you can play those first 20 games and, and have your head above water at the end of 20 road games um, that usually bodes for a, for a pretty good conference season or pretty good regular season so um, you know that's our goal uh, I think uh, it's just to go out and try to win every game and, and the ones that, that we don't win we want to just feel like we left our, left our best baseball out there and gave it a great effort. Good. What um after, after the College of, College of Idaho series, you come back, have a weekend off, and then get right into conference play. Talk about the first couple trips to St. Martin's and NNU. And NNU, by the way, is undefeated and uh, playing some really good baseball right now, too. They are. NNU is tough. They have a great pitching staff and great speed on that team. Um, they've been kind of building momentum as a program the last two or three years. And, uh, you know, I think uh, this year is going to be a year where, where they're going to test everyone in the conference. And they're going to, they're, they, I think they won 21 games last year in the conference so they were a good conference team last year but they uh, they're going to push everyone they're seven and0 at this point or eight now something like that um, and pitch extremely well St Martin's doesn't have a great record but you know they started their season on two or three swings into California and played great competition and by just looking at the scores of the games you can see that they're competing right. well uh, they have a lot of returning players and they were much improved so that's one thing I've been telling our guys is that you know we went down to the RMAC and played you know a couple of solid teams from down there but um, I, I really believe that the GNX is going to be one of the strongest Division II conferences in the country in baseball this year. So, you know, if we can do well in the league, that's uh, that really is going to uh, say a lot for our, for our club. But the league's going to be really strong. I don't I don't think there's going to be an easy win in the whole deal. Open up the home season March 25th against the nine-time defending conference champion Western Oregon. Talk about what what you'd like to see from the first first home series as as a first year coach here at MSUB. Well, I'd like to see 85 and sunny. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't think that will happen, but uh, I think I think um, you know, getting comfortable on your home field and, and just believing that you can win each each weekend. Western Oregon has uh, has dominated this league um, for as long as it's you know been a part of the GNAC. So uh, from from a game perspective, I, I really just kind of will treat it like Chico or like any other great team that we're going to play. We just have to go out and prepare and and prepare for each game and. And try to win the series. So that you always go into a series trying to win the series, and and just try to build some momentum at home. Um, obviously, Dealer Park's a great place to play, and I think that Billings is a baseball town, and our, our university will support baseball if we can show that that we'll do it at a high level and that we'll be competitive. So, um, you know, my my short and long term goal involves getting people in the stands and getting them out there to see what we're about. And uh, you know, I think people will be uh, impressed by the by the quality of baseball that we play. Coach, best of luck this week. Thanks a lot, kid. Thanks.